Hi everyone, so today in this video we are going to learn how to calculate the area of a polygon in an XY Cartesian plane. So let us use this example to illustrate how the shoelace method works. So here in this example we have a four-sided polygon, a quadrilateral, bounded by four vertices here. So step one, what we're going to do is to express the formula in this manner half and a large modulus function, in which in the modulus function, we will be listening out the coordinates in an anti-clockwise manner. So for ease of reference, we are going to let 1, 6 be A, and then we go down in an anti-clockwise manner, labeling the vertices as B, C, and D respectively. So let us first start with A. With A, we will put the 1, 6 in a column manner. Next, we move down to the next coordinate B, which is negative 4, 3, and we will listed next to A, so on and so forth until we have completed one full cycle around the polygon, which leads us back to A, which is 1, 6. Now that we have this done, we can move on to step 2, whereby within the modulus, we will be drawing right diagonal arrows. So let's start from the top left hand corner, which is the number 1. We draw a right diagonal arrow down to 3. Now, whenever we draw an arrow, we will multiply the two numbers. So 1 times 3 gives us 3. Okay, then we move on to the next number, which is negative 4. Multiply with negative 3, which gives us positive 12. And we add these numbers together. And we follow this procedure all the way to the last number, which is 3, 6. Now that we have all these blue arrows done, just like a shoelace, we have to crisscross. So now we draw upward arrows, which is 6 to negative 4. With these red arrows, we will have to subtract these red products away from our sum. So we have 6 times negative 4, 3 times negative 5, negative 3 times 3, and negative 1 times 1. All of these red values, we will have to subtract them. Now that we have these values, we calculate this whole expression, and this gives us the answer, 43.5 squared units. As simple as that. So from here, you can clearly tell that the shoelace formula works wonders. So to show you how much faster the shoelace formula works, I am going to show you the difference between using the shoelace formula and not using the shoelace formula just to find the area. Check this out. how much faster the shoelace formula works. Now that does not mean that whenever we encounter any polygon in the XY Cartesian plane, we just use the shoelace formula because there are certain instances whereby using the conventional method is much faster. For example, when you have a rectangular box. So clearly that was a very no-brainer example. There are other examples whereby it could be a triangle that uses a vertical segment or a horizontal segment. That doesn't warrant us to use um, the shoelace formula. So at the end of the day, it boils down to using the correct and appropriate tools to solve the problem. In my next video, I'm going to show you why this shoelace formula works. So stay tuned. <laughs> 